Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flailthroughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2. And this is a guest video from Demolition Hound, who uh, is in the G-Line Full Custom. Um, I am in the Gym Dominance here, and I believe Spidey Wing is in the uh, Gym 3 Close Combat. And uh, this is from last Friday night, where we had a really, really hard time getting our dailies done. That, that you know, two kills twice in one win day is always kind of tough. But Friday night, I don't know if people were just, like, inspired to play the game by the upcoming uh, tournament thing in Japan or what, but just, it was, it was a struggle. We, we got the first set of, uh, we got, we got our, all of our dailies done at, like, 2 a.m., 3 a.m., something like that. It was ridiculous. But, uh, G-Line Full Custom, this is one of the rounds where we finally got them done, incidentally. Um, G-Line Full Custom is really quite a good support. It has pretty much everything. It has the Federation shotgun, which is not as uh, not as overpowering as the Xeon shotgun, but sure can pile on damage. And uh, yeah, and it has uh, shoulder beam cannons like those of the Jim Cannon 2, and it has a couple of mini twin beam scythes which, uh, for its melee weapons stored in the knees. So yeah, it's got like I said, it's got everything, and. Uh, it can actually uh, do pretty well up close in melee, so you know whatever you're uh, whatever you're looking to do with the support, this can do it. So um, this is the uh, this is the uh, I forget what the official name is. It's the Jabro map, it, like underground fortress, something like that. Either way, or underground base. I don't remember, but uh, regardless, yeah, it's Jabro, and. Uh, I decided to take out the Gym Dominance because I wanted to try out Maelstrom's uh, uh, just repeated neutral melee trick with the Gym Dominance, which I have uh, I do fairly well with in here, though I do kind of get in other people's ways at times. But, uh, yeah, and that's, you know, there's always, you know, you always end up crossing in front of the support when they're about to fire. Somebody, somebody will do it. Usually it's me. It was Spidey's turn this time. Good beam shot there. And, uh, let's see. Yeah, so this round is starting out rough, but I, as I recall, it does get, uh, better. But, oh, good catch on that Red Rider before it could do any really significant damage. And backing away quickly while, uh, uh looking for uh, other targets while, ah, uh, while, uh, you know, avoiding <laughs> the Red Rider, hopefully. Uh, I don't know if this will be true as of when you see this video, but as of when it's being recorded, uh, there is up on uh, uh, Premium Bandai a reissue of the High Grade Red Rider model kit they put out a while back. So if you're looking for that, there is another shot. There's a couple other interesting things too, who, uh, whose you know exact uh, identities escape my tired, silly brain at the moment. Oh yeah, they have the uh, variant of the Wound Wart with the uh, like Psychomu hood ornament on its head so I just put together the standard wound board finally but I'm kind of tempted but uh, yeah um, it is uh, decent stuff I I kind of wish I'd uh, kind of like to see some more like limited edition G-frame stuff up there because I'm not sure if they've done that for the US yet I haven't seen it but that doesn't mean it didn't happen but yeah like, G-Frame is my thing right now. I, I am enjoying the Gunpla as well, and I've, you know, gotten some stuff lately, but yeah, G-Frame is like, uh, where, you know, G-Frame is such a great little action figure line. Let's see. Okay, yep, that is probably, yeah, if he's got type advantage, that is a Gym 3 powered. Like I said, those, those and, uh, Jetta's very, uh, popular in the general slot on Friday, both in the tournament and in general. Um, yeah, Red Rider's relatively popular uh, as a raid as well. Um, it was odd, you know, in the tournament. Most of the time, if you saw a support, it would be a Hildolfer. And, like, nine times out of ten, the team with the Hildolfer didn't do as well as the other team, it seemed like. You know, correct me if I'm wrong, because the tournament is still up there. But, yeah, just uh, then there was a round where both teams had them. And uh, so, you know, can't really call judge anything from that but that's another one I never got in practice with one day I would not mind giving it a go and there I am in the gym dominance over there on the right trying uh, trying to stab things 
good downswing, but uh, I, you know, I kind of feel like he uh, might have pulled back a second to avoid hitting Spidey, which, uh, you know, sometimes, yeah, you have that you have that perfect shot and you pull back to avoid hitting hitting teammates. It just it just happens. Um, I am alive, but just just barely. Demo is stunning things around me, which I am grateful for. And there is the Red Rider, which unfortunately we have uh, functionally left him alone with. Luckily, it's almost dead. If he can get his shotgun and or his Vulcans going again, there's like three things down there ready to die. Looks like number six got one of them. Uh, that Okay, Vincent, Vincent Gleisner, Pale Rider. That was less seen in that tournament, but also you know, fairly common. I want to get more practice with it so I can land some of the downswings that uh, I saw. People were using it to hit things like just off screen to their left, and that could be really, uh, really handy and really difficult to counter, so it's I, I see why they're doing it, and I definitely want to practice that move. Ah, I don't know. I feel like uh, I feel like lately I've actually been. Oops. Yeah, I've done again. I've done that too. Like you know, there's somebody there, out of the corner of your eye, and the first thing you swing at happens to be an ally. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like I've been picking a few new, uh, new things up lately. Feel like I've actually, you know, improved a little bit at the game just from actually you know watching other people for a change because. You know, I I watch friends' videos when they submit them to me. I wish I had time to watch more videos my, my friends put up, but, ah, man, some days I've, I barely have time to, uh, you know, watch my own enough to p uh, pick out which ones I want to use, so that's just kind of, ah, kind of, uh, kind of still stressed out and, uh, and working on stuff lately, but, uh, you know, just, just... Bleh. Just bleh. Just uh, me, you know, not being able to uh, manage my time as well as I, I could. But, you know. Also, sometimes when you're caregivering, you just don't have a choice. Like, the, your time ends up, you know, somebody else's when they need it. And that's life. Uh, 50 seconds remaining. We are so close to winning this. Somebody just got... Uh, oh, I just took something out. That's good. I've got good health. Number 5 is uh, the only person that's low on health. So, hopefully... Uh, number five is also the closest to the enemy, so that is that again. That's also something that happens fairly frequently, and again, that's that's a mistake that I feel I make a lot, which is you know, I kind of tend to push when we're you know very close to winning and I'm low on health because it's like okay, if I'm going to be a liability either way, I may as well you know try and get in as much damage as possible. But the reality is, no, I am better off backing off and letting them pursue me because they'll probably have to try and run past some of uh, my allies, which will not work. Good last second tackle on that Red, red Rider. Yeah. So yeah, that, w that was a really good round. I think, what, one death out of all that? And that's for a support in Jabro. That's incredible. So, let's see how that came out. Um, yep, Demo got top score at 4950. 136,000 damage. Very nice. I was... Uh, top assist, and yeah, it was 9-2 uh, and two in Jabra. Okay, it was 2. Don't know how I forgot one. Yes, I do. I have a horrible memory. But yeah, that was a great round, and I appreciate you sending it my way, Demo, because, uh, yeah, that was fun. And that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! For the record, Demo titled this one Support Does Raid Cosplay, which I think is an accurate assessment of the G-Line Full Custom. And also, um, I don't know th if this will run on Halloween or not, but there's a possibility of it. We'll see what happens.